This video has words starting with uh, A M. Okay, there is a difference uh, when you say uh, A M as am in British and M like M is for monkey M in American English. So when it is um, in British, they say A M ambassador a ambassador but in american english they say m ambassador so ambassador is a, a representative for a specific activity or a promoter of a specific activity he is a good ambassador for the industry but usually in india we used to call it ambassador because of the british colonization we, but in when you go to US, they say M, M, M is for monkey, ambassador. So it's not difficult. You can practice and get it. Or ambassador is like an appointed diplomat. It's also called diplomatic representative sent by a state or a country as its permanent, repres permanent representative in a foreign country. For example, we have our Indian ambassador in ambassador in uh, USA who deals with all the affairs of Indians in USA so that's all about ambassador and there are so many actors who represent a product and they become the ambassadors of the product for example the the cars the Tata uh, car sometimes keeps the Salman Khan Sa Salman Khan as a representative so uh, he promotes that car wherever he goes whatever he does he speaks about that that for which he gets money so that's all about ambassadors or ambassador the next word is Amazon in American and Amazon in British basically it's Amazon okay Amazon is uh, it's a we all know it's a rainforest it's a broadest tropical rainforest in the South America like in the Brazil most of it's in Brazil Venezuela and so many other countries uh, this Amazon is present and it is also a green color parrot that is seen in central or south america but usually when some a lady or woman who is tall and strong or an athletic woman is also called as amazon or it is in greek uh, history the race of a legendary race of women warrior uh, believed to exist in a place called cynthia or elsewhere in the end of the world uh, they were also called as Amazon. Like I said, A M A M is am in British and M M is for monkey M in America. There is another thing when you have B I like you see in M B dextrous, okay? B I B I or D I like you see it in um ani seed, okay? Something like that. E sound is always pronounced as a sound okay they don't say ambidextrous no they say ambidextrous uh they don't say um, ambi they say amber ambidextrous okay so this is also a significant feature of american english or even in the british english they don't say e sound they say a sound instead of e sound this is also not only seen in i i mean bi or di i e sounds it is also seen in a sounds like balloon we say ah uh, they say uh b balloon okay we don't we call it as b a balloon balloon they say it as b u h balloon so in american english it is ambidextrous and ambidextrous in british english which means you are able to use your right and left hand equally well you can say few of us are naturally ambidextrous and also sometimes an implement will be designed to be used by left-handed and right-handed people with equal ease for example there is an ambidextrous am, amb, ambidextrous uh, tile gauge gauge is something that measures the measures an object like it's a, a physical uh, related to the it measures the size of an object and you can measure with it both the right hand or side or the left hand side of the tile gauge by that is called it is an ambidextrous tile gauge we all know ambience m ambience or a in british ambience generally means an atmosphere okay like the uh, the mood or the feeling 
For example, we can say the relaxed ambience of the cocktail lounge is popular with guests, which means the character and the atmosphere of the place. But it is also related to a sound, the quality or character given to a sound re recording by the space in which the sound occurs, okay, relating to the ambient music, like so this genre is said to evoke an atmospheric or visual uh, quality. Nature soundscapes may be included and the sounds of the you know, instruments such as the piano, strings and flute may be uh, emulated through a synthesizer. So for example, you can say the music for airport is called, called an ambient music or it is like a drone music, it is a new age music. There are so many examples like this. Like basically it is related to an atmosphere or a particular feeling or mood. And when I say the liquid is stored at below ambient temperature. Here ambient temperature is relating to the immediate surroundings of something. Like to a immediate surroundings of something. The liquid should be below than the temperature. So it is the ambient like amb ambient temperature. This is called ambient or ambient advertising. Ambient advertising looks something like this. So, ambient advertising is about placing ads on unusual objects or in unusual places where you wouldn't usually expect to have an advertisement. The term ambient means placing an ad at unusual places or unconventional places where you wouldn't expect an advertisement. Rio, you know die means to, but do you know ambi in Latin means to? Yes, ambi means to. So, and this is a very good example for pronouncing a sound rather than saying e sound because this word has two e sounds when I say in normally wrongly when I say ambiguity it's like b gwiti but actually it should be spelled as amber guarty ambiguity ambiguity m ambiguity so it is like don't pronounce e sound but rather than e pronounce a sound so ambiguity in American or ambiguity in British so ambiguity or ambiguity means it has two meanings so that is very unclear or doubtful or puzzled for example a homonym can be called as ambiguous ambiguous means the word itself is so unclear so when I say when the dog ran around the house it fell so what fell? I just said it. So it is very unclear in meaning, can be interpreted in different ways. So this is an ambiguous statement. So let me say some ambiguous words. The like bank, it means money or river. Jam means jelly or stuck. You're stuck. And star means the one in the sky or the movie star. So these are ambiguous words. So ambiguous uh, syntactical syntactical ambiguity ambiguity means syntact means a sentence lexical means word so syntactical ambiguity is the presence of two or more possible meaning within a single sentence or sequence of words which means in a sen sentence not a single word the chicken is ready to eat which has two meaning it is sitting and ready ready to, for the meal to arrive or it is cooked and ready to eat and there is lexical ambiguity which means a, from a single word it is like homonym one word has two different meaning i saw her duck which means she is ducking like bow, bending head head down or it is the bird duck so when it is xl it is like the consonants x and l or it is in roman letter 40 or it is the garment size XL double XL so when you see XL you're just ambiguous or ambiguous
ready okay this word is m ambit in american or ambit in british so ambit is from the word itself it means a bit or it's a pit pit has a lot of range a boundary or bounds or the reach similarly ambit is the scope or range or reach for example you can say a full discussion of this complex issue was beyond the ambit of one book beyond the scope or beyond uh, the range of this book we all know what is ambition in british or aim m ambition in american english which means having or showing a strong desire and determination to success a ruthless ambitious women but also when of a plan or a piece of work intended to satisfy high aspirations and therefore is just difficult to achieve you can call it as an ambitious enterprise or it is an ambitious plan which means it's intended but it is hard to achieve so you can say a vocation or a desire and determination as ambition this word is the best example of how to say v a s v u h like uh, it is not ambivalent or ambivalent they don't say a sound they say v they don't say v a sound they say ambivalent v, yeah v u h v u h sound ambivalent which means a is silent a is not at all pronounced so it is ambiv biv ambivalent it is m biv uh, lent it is ambivalent ambivalent again mb means two so ambivalent is not sure about two options i'm ambivalent about this dress it's both good and bad so it's lack of clarity or you're wavering or you're unclear about your option it is like she loves me or she loves me not so it is a collision between your thought and feeling so you can declare yourself ambivalent when you have ambivalent feelings ambivalent feelings is having mixed feelings about someone or something like my family and i had ambivalent feelings about moving to the us we want to come but we also wanted to stay here you're very uncertain or unsure i think she likes me but at the same time i at another angle i think she doesn't so this is an ambivalent i'm your ambivalent or that is an ambivalent feeling ambivalent we all know this ample or ample is like plenty but do you know that a m b l e ample or ample in british means that you leave all that plenty of things and you walk because and walk because uh, here ample is a walk at a slow relaxed pace especially for pleasure a peaceful riverside ample or they ambled alongside the river so which means you are just strolling when i see this word i thought it was ambrosia but it is actually ambrosia 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 is it has a browse you're browsing something because uh, very pleasing to taste or smell you're browsing about a food here because ambrosia ambrosia is something very pleasing to taste or smell the tea was ambrosia after the slow slop i'd been suffering even ambrosia ambrosia is considered to be greek and roman mythology kill the food of the gods in greek and roman mythology ambrosial is considered to be the food of gods so ambrosia is another term for bee bread bee bread is nothing but honey yeah bee bread it is the bread of the bees bee honey or the pollen used as food by bees it's also called ambrosia ambrosia is very sweet there is also a beetle called ambrosia ambrosia beetle and uh, yeah sometimes the nectar or uh, the honey is also called ambrosia so you can just say why i'll have you know that kentucky bourbon is the ambrosia of the gods ambrosia ambrosia we all know what is an ambulance is but it is actually should be pronounced in american english as m u u should be stressed m u lance it's not la 
this is also an example for l a is not la it is l u h la ambulance so ambulance is a vehicle equipped for taking sick or injured people to and from hospital especially in emergencies we called an ambulance or he was ambulanced to the emergency when i say they were ambushed and killed it means see this is uh, attracting this person by showing a women's picture so ambush in british or ambush in american means m ambush in american means a surprise attack by people lying in wait in a concealed position seven members of a patrol were killed patrol were killed in an in an ambush or it is also confront someone suddenly and unexpectedly with unwelcome questions like he uh, he tory representatives were ambushed by camera crews he was ambushed by the, the film actor was ambushed by the camera representative about his family life this word is a very different one here m e is coming a m e so the me is given important and it is stretched so this word is not concentrating on the a or m sound it is concentrating on me so it is a ameliorate ameliorate is nothing but make something bad make something a better one usually something bad or unsatisfactory into a better one the reform did much to ameliorate ameliorate the living standards a smile will ameliorate the situation an angry dog will be ameliorated if you just tap on its head so it's like to make it better or to encourage it or to to improve it basically to make it better or to make it grow or improve to grow better or improve it's me because i'm going to make it better so ameliorate it is making better so when you say amen it's uh, american and amen is british okay a is american basically amen is let it be so so whatever you just said now let it happen so it is said always at the end of the prayer i always thought amen you just learned amen and amen but when you say amen but you just say uh amen because i always thought amen is like a controlled or manageable because i always thought amenable kids means you have an uh, easily persuaded and controllable manageable kids but recently i came to know that it is also uh, it also has a meaning open and responsive to suggestions or willing to uh, listen to the advices you can say your boss is amenable and so that you can go and say your grievances so that is also of uh, amenable and it is also uh, like uh, there is another example cardiac failure not amenable to medical treatment which means it's not controllable or manageable so you can say i need some amendment to be done on my hair so i'm going to a parlor because amendment is like a minor change or addition it is either you changing already existing or you're just adding something to it designed to improve a text or piece of legislation etc so you shouldn't say for your hair it's basically for a text because there is always they, they say like an amendment amendment is also uh amend okay not amend or amend it's amendment to existing an amendment to existing bail laws or basically it is making amendments is like your saying sorry is also uh you you're, it's like you're making an amendment because it's it will correct a mistake that one has done archaically it is also it also means put right for example a few things had gone wrong but these had been amended it's not only text related it is sometimes related to the soil because when you say amend your soil with moss or compost you actually mean improve the texture or fertility of your soil for example you can say you can add some soil texturing amendments to improve soil drainage which means something which is added to soil in order to improve its texture or fertility i always thought amenity is a desirable or useful feature or facility of a building or a place i always thought amenities means a very close to schools hospitals for example you can say the property is situated in a convenient location close to all local amenities but recently i came to know that pleasantness or niceness also means amenity because this this is the sentence gravel working means lorries dust noise and general loss of amenity 
which means niceness or your, the pleasantness or enjoyableness you can also say the developments which would clash with amenity which means the provision or the pleasantness when you say americanize it is a make american in character or nationality an americanized accent so your loyalty you should be loyalty to the united states and its institutions when you get americanized and follow americanism and remember one thing you shouldn't americanize your name because your name is from your mother mother country okay this word ami ami amicable and amiable it is not amiable okay amiable it is not uh, sounding good so amiable is amiable in both american and british english but amicable in british and amicable 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 in american okay amiable is the quality of having a friendly and pleasant manner basically you are very friendly and good nature this friendly natured amiability okay and amicable in british or amicable also means the same it is like characterized by friendliness and absence of discord and amicable settlement of the dispute and you can say the amicable per people are fast becoming extinct these days so basically it is all about friendliness cordiality warmth niceness